Hello, and welcome to another week of IFG's Swordplay Challenge. This is week two, and this week not only do we have a challenge for you, we also have a review of the Infinity Gauntlets from Sparring Gloves. First of all, before we get into the review, I just want to get a few things out of the way. I have not used these for sparring because of the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get some footage of that in the future. Also, these are the models with the new thumb, which is a two-part thumb as opposed to the originals, which only had one-part thumb. And lastly, this will be a review dealing with longsword as my primary study. Uh, which doesn't mean that you can't use these for other swords, but I'm going to be focusing on their application for longsword. These gloves feature an internal glove, which means that they are actually built around a pre-existing underglove, which means that you don't have to have your own, which is great because it's only one piece of gear but it's also a little less than great if you consider the fact that this glove might wear out in the future and it might also get really stinky in the future. The glove appears to be comprised primarily of some type of hard plastic material similar to Kydex or HDPE and it appears that there is some type of foam to provide additional impact resistance underneath that hard plastic exterior in addition, the glove is held together by lots of little rivets which appear to have allen key insertions, which means that if I wanted to, I could probably take these gloves apart and put them back together, which is great if you break a piece or you want to replace a piece. My gloves have the long cuff feature, which means that they will not work as well with certain jackets. For instance, my Arkham jacket the 800 Newton version has some built-in rigid protection on the forearm and unfortunately that means that it is largely incompatible with these gloves. It will work well with certain jackets such as the Spez AP light jacket. I have no idea about the Spez AP standard jacket. Unfortunately I don't have one to try out. I also do have a Hema Hive slash Naaman jacket, which these gloves work very well with, as well as a Hema Supplies Scholar jacket, which these gloves also work quite well with. As you can see, these gloves are connected to their cuffs via what appears to be a long strip of tough fabric material that is backed by some type of foam. This is a pretty small connection. It doesn't extend for a very long way around the glove. And also it is protected by this kind of flare that comes out of the glove on the back and seems to do a pretty good job of protecting your wrist. The fingers for these gloves are comprised of two pieces. The first is a scale that sticks out from the main glove and covers the top of the first part of your finger up until your first knuckle. The second part extends from that first piece all the way down to the fingertip. One thing to note about these fingers is they don't have any type of protection for the interior of the fingers. If I spread my fingers out, there is no protection for the webbing of my fingers. However, there is some when I make a fist on the top. Alright, so what do I like about these gloves? Well, first of all, I really do think that the new thumb that they have is very good. Uh, it's very mobile. It makes me feel like I can switch between grips very easily, from the thumb grip to a handshake grip, or even if I needed to, a hammer grip. So thumb is excellent. These are also quite comfortable. I don't feel any pinching or anything like that. Also, these are quite easy to get on. They're no more difficult than your standard HEMA glove. They don't have any fiddly bits to strap on or anything like that, so that's a definite plus. Also, I think that the mobility in almost all of the fingers, in fact, the first three 
your pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger are excellent. Now for some things that I think could probably use a little bit of improvement. First of all, there is a small gap between where the knuckle and the pointer finger intersect. And I think that it's a small gap, uh, but there is a potential to get hit pretty hard there and not have a whole lot of padding in the way. So I'm probably going to modify them to fix that issue and I would encourage sparring gloves to address it. Second of all, uh, on the same pointer finger, there is a small piece that can stick out and get caught over the cross guard of the sword. This is a pretty minor issue. I don't see it really causing any great mobility issues, but it definitely could have unforeseen consequences. Also, I find that my pinky has a little bit less mobility than the rest of my fingers. Now I think in part that is due to the fact that I have quite small little baby pinkies, which is, you know, nobody's fault. But I also think that it does have something to do with the interaction between the pinky and the ring finger being slightly less smooth than between the other three fingers. And lastly, I do have small issues with the wrist mobility. I think that the wrist mobility is right now a little less than desirable. That doesn't mean that once these gloves break in, that could change. I'm sure that it will become somewhat better. I also don't know that it will ever become as good as the standard kind of accordion type uh, connection between the wrist and the hand that lots of sparring glove models do have. If you've made it this far into the video, I have a challenge for you. My challenge is to take whatever type of gloves you have available. If you've got Spez Heavies, awesome. If you have some light leather gloves, excellent. If you have any other type of glove that you would possibly use for HEMA, I want you to put that glove on, go outside or to whatever training place you might have, and flourish for one minute. I want this to be a kind of exercise in getting reacquainted with using your gloves. I know we've all been away from HEMA for quite a long time, and feeling what it's like to use those gloves and interact with them and swing a sword around is going to be extremely beneficial. So that just about does it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.